You're traveling through an ancient forest on your quest to kill some troublesome orcs. This raiding band in particular has harassed a nearby village for a week, wounding many and killing a few inhabitants. At least they had the decency to leave an easy to follow trail for vengeful pursuers. Or maybe that's what they want you to think. Up ahead, you can smell the burning of wood and see the light of a bonfire. The orcs have hacked a clearing and are burning the wood from some of the ancient trees. You count 12 orcs more than you anticipated. Even with the element of surprise, it's only possible to kill one or two before the rest drag you under. That is, until the hair on the back of your neck stands up and you get a horrible feeling that you're being watched. Around you, several trees have suddenly grown faces as their branches knot and turn into giant arms while their trunks split into feet. The orcs have gone quiet now sensing the disturbance. You run 50 feet away, just as the trees pull themselves free of the soil with roars of fury as they descend on the orcs. You see orcs getting tossed aside like they weighed no more than a toddler, and the trees turn any defiant orc into a puddle of gore jelly. Yuck. After the carnage is finished, the trees stomp out the fire and slowly walk towards the heart of the forest. Don't mess with the f***ing forest. Welcome back to a compendium of monsters. This week's entry, The Treon. Before we get into it, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Treons are a form of awakened trees that dwell in ancient forests. You can go your whole life without seeing one, unless you decide to burn down or otherwise harm a forest. These awakened trees can spend decades or even centuries before they realize they're awakened, and of course they normally awaken in a place filled with nature's magic. Other treons and powerful druids can sense when a tree has the potential to awaken, and they protect those trees in secret groves. Treons are a challenge level 9 plant. Well, except they're a challenge level 9 because of a vulnerability to fire, and we need to talk about that for a second. Have you ever tried to burn fresh wood? It doesn't really work, right? Same concept here. It's stupid that a living tree guardian with water and basically no dry bark to spark would have a weakness to fire. We have finally come across our first modified monster! Removing the vulnerability to fire increases the Treon's challenge level to 11, as its hit points have effectively doubled. Why have they doubled? Great question. Fire is a common damage source. Firebolt, fireball, flaming arrow, searing smite, etc. can all do heavy damage to a Treon. If Treons had a weakness to psychic damage, removing that vulnerability would have less of an effect. So let's try this again. Treons are a challenge level 11 plant. They have an armor class of 16, average hit points of 138, and a speed of 30 feet. Treons resist bludgeoning and piercing damage giving your longsword axe fighter the chance to shine. Treons have several unique abilities and actions. False appearance, siege monster, and animate trees once per day. With a Treon's false appearance ability, it is indistinguishable from normal trees so long as it remains motionless. Talk about a great ambush tactic. Siege monster is basically what it sounds like. Remember in Lord of the Rings, the two towers where Treebeard and the rest of the Ents go about destroying buildings and such? Treons deal double damage to structures they attack. Be sure to take them to that next siege you're going on. The ability I really want to draw attention to, though, is actually an action. Animate trees. Treons can perform this action once per day, and it allows them to wake in two trees it can see within 60 feet. These trees come to life and have the same statistics as the Treon. You thought fighting one was bad. Now you're probably gonna TPK unless you run like mad. Granted, these trees can only attack, can't speak, and have intelligence and charisma scores of one, but three Treons fighting you. Not good! Treons have a standard multi-attack that allows them to slam you twice with their branchy arms. They can also throw rocks for heavy damage, so be careful if you think you're safe at range. You're not. In spite of their impressive combat abilities, Treons spend most of their lives rooted as trees. They awaken to deal with threats or meet the forest needs, but Treons are otherwise fairly similar to elves. They have very long lives and aren't really in a rush to get anywhere or do anything other than defend their domain. My players encountered a Treon very early in our campaign and not on the best of terms. See, Zaley, Torin, and Nala were investigating an old, dead tree to help out the local alchemist and artificer. Shipments of supplies are going missing, mysterious stone statues, etc. But surrounding the old dead tree was a pair of zombie ogres. Nala, the druid, decides to start casting flame attacks at the zombie ogres, and this greatly angers a treon, who uproots itself and proceeds to smack Nala around. Torin also used flame attacks and got a couple whacks for his trouble. It also decides, after Nala and Torin apologize and stop using fire, to help tenderize the undead, but Nala, Zaley, and Torin all get a lecture on fire safety. Fire bad! The three took it to heart and now take care to not burn things down. Mostly. Anyways, what do you all think of Treons? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button and attack that like button. I'll see you all next time.